Namaste everyone. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you about one of the poems that I wrote. I have written this poem uh, about uh, based on a, a statue or a sculpture that that's found in a temple called uh, Lalitambika temple in Tamil Nadu. The thing is one of our good friends his name is Dr. Ashok Rudra Bhatla. He has sent me this picture of office sculpture and then had asked me to write a poem on that. Uh, I said, wow, well, that the sculpture was very impressive. So I thought, um, let me do justice. And then I, I wrote a poem. Okay, before I explain about it, I have to tell you the story behind it. The story is that uh, this is Shiva and Parvati, okay? So the story behind this is um, Shiva, um, Ganga descends to earth from the heaven, okay? While it's, when it descends, the impact is so great that earth can take it. So it has to be, uh, it has to land somewhere. So Shiva offers, Shiva was prayed, and requested so he offers his hair so what he does is he has long locks of hair he ties it into a shika or a, or a big like bun on his head and then he makes it like a circle onto which Ganga draw, descends herself and then he later on he lets it to and lets one of the locks loose so that it flows, flows down. Now, <clears throat> hearing this or knowing this, his wife Khan, Parvati <clears throat> gets upset because he gave Ganga higher place on his head than her. So, and she gets upset and then she goes into the corner. Okay, it's, it's really upset means in Telugu it's called Alaka. Alaka is, it can be roughly translated as a love quarrel, let's say. Okay. She goes into uh, a corner and stands there. And then its husband is expected to give, tell her like soft words and loving words so that she's, she gets over her alaka or her love quarrel. Okay. So this, um, <laughs> in order to do that, he has to say some words. And those words, I, I imagine that Shiva is saying these words, and I wrote this poem. I'm explaining in English for people who can't follow Telugu. This poem is written in Telugu. And for those who cannot follow, this video is presented uh, with audio. Um, it's, it's written in a, in a format called, the, they, all the poems have a format. And this is written in a format called Muttyala Saralu, meaning the actual translation is, it's a string of pearls. So the poem goes like a string of pearls. And I have to explain to you in English the meaning of the poem itself so that what, what it really means, how Shiva is like um, talking to his wife or making her understand and then satisfying her with her words so that she won't be upset with him anymore. Okay, so in order to explain that word, poem meaning, I have to look at my cell phone because to, to know each sentence or each stanza's meaning. It's like pieces, uh, four, four, four lines at a time. And the first four lines, Shiva is saying, Why are you in love quarrel with me, O maiden, who walk like a pretty hamsa? Hamsa walks very elegantly. So he says, you walk like a hamsa, but why are you in a quarrel with me? You are a pleasant-faced woman, looking like a full moon. 
प्लीज डोंट बी अपसेट विथ मी ओ ब्राइट आइड लेडी योर वर्ड्स आर ऑलवेज लाइक हनी ड्रॉपलेट्स दैट्स द फर्स्ट टाइम एंड द नेक्स्ट वन गोज ही सेज ऑल द शाइनिंग स्टार्स ऑफ द स्काय डोंट इक्वल योर ट्विंकलिंग फेस You are the princess of the world. Please show your beautiful moves with love. And the next one says, even though Ganga is on my head, you are the one revered by all. Here I am begging you sweetly, please come and be with me. And the last one he says, Oh princess of mountain mountain king she is the princess i have picked the flowers and made a garland for you so being a loving husband he has made a garland for her and he offers to her by saying let me set up this beautiful garland in your hair you are the mountain of virtues come and be my half or be my one half of me oh my beloved one and that's how he concludes hoping by that with all this sweet talking parvati is satisfied and then be pleasant with him again this is the meaning in general now please listen to the actual poem this is sung by mr manohar ravikanti while listening please notice that every it 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 has four lines each and every second letter as well as the last letter in every four lines have to be the same okay have to start with the same alphabet that and then if you like if you like it please let me know Thank you very much. Padya Rachana Suvarna Vijay Garu Janmasthalam Manthani Telangana Nivasasthalam Montreal Canada Padina Varu Ravikanti Manohar Manthani Gramam Telangana Sheershika Parvati Alaka Padya Jati Muttyala Saram Alakalila हम सगमना चिलकल कोली की चंद्र वदना कल तमान वे कंजलो चना पलुकु तेनल कली की वे नना गगन तारल तल्लु कुले वीर सोग सुमो मुकु समनु कावीर जग मुले ले देवी नीवे वगलु चिली की बल पुलु लु करावे अलक लेला हम सगमना शिरनुन निलुवने मी मंगल प्रदवु भगुनि भामा मुंगिट मगनि मनविले मा चंगट विभुनि चेरवे मा अलकलेला हम सगमना नगज सुम मूल सरम गुण वे सिगनु तुरी मेद चेर गद वे सुगुण राजीव शंभु प्रिय वे 
ಸಗಮುತನುಗುಣ ನಿಲುವ ಗಗನವೇ ಅಲಕಲೇಲ ಹಂ ಸಗಮನ ಶಿಲಕಲ ಕೊಲಿ ಕಿ ಚಂದ್ರ ವದನ ಕಲತಮಾನವೇ ಕಲು ಚನ ಪಲು ಕುತಿ ನಿಲ ಕಲಿ ಕಿ ಅಲಕಲೇನ ಹಂ ಸಗಮನ